YouTubers, Mike Boris with the Mike Boris channel. Thank you for watching. In today's video, we are going to show you how to fix a reverse shower handle, meaning you turn the handle to hot and it's never hot, it's always cold. But if you turn that handle to cold, it's never cold, it's always hot. We're gonna show you how to fix that. All right, YouTubers inside the bathroom now, and believe it or not, I'm standing inside the actual shower. Here is the shower handle that is reversed. As you can see right there, that is a C, that stands for cold. And the arrow all the way to the left, to the H, that means hot. The unfortunate thing is the internal stem is reversed. So when we open up the handle and turn it all the way to the H, well, we never get hot water. But if we leave it on the cold about right there at that setting, we get hot water. Here is our access panel to the back side of the plumbing to the shower. And what we'll do is set that panel down on the floor and we are going to turn off both hot and cold water valves. And you'll know they're off when they are no longer in line with the pipes. Back inside the shower and turn your water on. Verify no water comes out, both all the way to the left, to the hot portion, and to the cold. No water is coming. That means the water is completely shut off and it's safe to move on to the next step. I recommend covering your drain with a towel or something else. I'm going to go ahead and step right in the shower. And if yours looks like this, you've got an upper Phillips screw and a lower Phillips screw. We're not going to touch those. We are actually going to grab a flathead screwdriver and carefully insert it in the little notch right there and carefully remove the cover that covers the internal Phillips screw. And be very careful. You don't want to break it and you don't want to drop it. Here is a better close up of the cover and it's about the size of a button. And as you pull that off, you don't want to break those internal plastic teeth. Again, just be careful. Back inside the shower and inside that hole is a Phillips screw. Go ahead and remove that screw. I'm going to set that right there and there's the internal part. Next, in the event that your exterior cover here is threaded, you want to carefully twist it to the left to unscrew it. However, ours is just under compression, and just by pulling it out, you can remove this entire part. Carefully set that down. And now this internal piece here, this is threaded. Carefully twist that to the left and pull that part off. Just like that. At this point, I want to point out something very important. See that little notch there? That plastic portion of this goes into a small little notch right there. On the opposite side, it goes into a notch right there. And then you have a little place where you can put a flathead screwdriver to pry this portion off of the internal piping. And here's what happened. The previous owner or the plumber that installed this put the hot portion on the cold side. And if you come over to this side, you will notice it says cold side. So what we are going to do is carefully pull this portion outward. Yours may be firmly on there. And it's also important to know that this is the part where you might get a little wet. And again, be very careful. There is an inner gasket in here. And once you pull it out of that slot, just twist it 180 degrees until that slot gets right in there and you might need to muscle it in place. I may need both hands. And real quick YouTubers, again, by removing this, it's going to leak. I just wanted to show you the internal portion of the stem. That's what it looks like. Now that this is removed, again, the hot side, match that up. The best way to do this is grab that cover and align this portion while you twist that in place. And by twisting that cover in place on the thread, it's going to compress this part and seat that inner gasket right there in place. At this point, the lock ring is on the thread and if you need more room to grab it to tighten it down to compress that inner gasket, go ahead and remove that Phillips screw and that Phillips screw and remove this outer plate here. Both Phillips screws removed, carefully remove this plate here. And again, you can gain more room and leverage to tighten this lock ring. You don't want to over tighten it to the point where you're damaging the internal plumbing. That would not be good, but you want it snug because again, in a rubber gasket has to be properly seated to create that watertight seal. Next, just as important, make sure you open your handle to allow the stem to open up in the full open position. Then properly align this portion as shown here where that little rod will meet this triangle stop point. I've stepped out of the shower and I'm going to close the valve 
to the full closed position. Back to the shutoff valves, make them in line with the pipes. And from here, just grab a flashlight. I know that's kind of bright. And before turning on any water, make sure that there are no leaks on both the back portion of the plumbing and inside the tub. Back inside the shower, and again, wait about two minutes prior to turning on the water because once you open up those valves, pressure comes to this point. In our case, it's been about two to three minutes. No leaks so far. I'm going to carefully reinstall the handle and turn the shower on. From here, I just want to check four leaks on both, again, the front side and the rear side. To the back side, you can hear the water flowing, and so far, so good. No leaks, which is great. I recommend letting the water run for about five to ten minutes. Verify no leaks. And no leaks in our case, and guess what? Hot water all the way to the left and cold water all the way to the right. From here, we are going to dry that water near that area right there and secure all the parts. Cover plate resecured with the two foot screws and grab this portion, carefully install that over there. Again, yours may have thread, ours just goes in on compression. From here, we'll grab the handle. Handle's back on, the inner Phillips screw is secured. Go ahead and align that cap, carefully reinstall it and push it in place and secure it. From here, YouTubers, that's it. Hopefully this video helps. Do us a favor, below the video, you will see that thumbs up icon. Click on that, like the video, subscribe to the channel. Definitely ring your YouTube bell. That would be very awesome and helpful for us. And again, we hope this helps.